Hello, we're YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits, checking out some more Oktoberfest themed beer and some slightly modernized Oktoberfest themed beer. Uh, I saw this one in Beer Dome and I had to get it because this is a Matzen brewed with Lauge Brezeln, uh, aka pretzels. So, this is from Sudden Death, uh, outside of Hamburg, I believe. Um, no, Lübeck, sorry. So, uh, yeah, German brewery, fairly well known for making hazies, but they've really, I think they've always done a little bit of German beer, but they've really, recently, I think it's just because I had a look at this beer and I was like looking at other things, I didn't know that they were also like championing classic German stuff, which is really cool. But it's a nice brewery, they make some really tasty beers, but this one just really caught my eye. It's their Hoptoberfest beer. And um, it says Servus the Savage, which is their slogan. At first I thought it said Servus the Sausage, because there was a sausage next to it. Uh, but no, it does not. So this is a Matson. it's on 5.5%. This was made for Oktoberfest. And uh, the Oktoberfest season, they said they released it a bit early, so that uh, people can get to try it. And uh, what's really fun, so it's, they say here, let's fest. So this year's Matson is a single decocted Matson that they adjuncted with over 120 kilos of dry and soft pretzels in the mash and whirlpool, also known as Brezel, Laugenbrezel, Laugenbecker Brezel in Germany. And uh, yeah, it's really funny. And what I really love is, so they have a, I just had a brief glance on their uh, IG page and uh, they have some, uh, you know, fun descriptions and whatnot on, on a a lot of the beers and I love their artwork. And one thing I really love is that they're embracing being German so much and just poking a bit of fun at it, but with like class. So uh, they made a Hefeweizen or Weizen Doppelbock and it's called More German Goes Not. It's amazing. That's just like a direct English translation of uh, Mehr Deutsch geht's nicht which is me is basically how you'd say it in German. So if you directly translate it, uh, that's how you'd say it. And the funny thing is like, this is totally how some Germans would try and say it in English. I've worked with quite a lot of Germans in my, uh, you know, in brewing. And uh, it's so funny because there's a lot of like German phrasing that translate into English when they speak English. And it's just like, I love it. It's amazing. You have the same in Danish going into English, but yeah, more German goes not. But yeah, let's see if this one tastes like Laugenbrezels. So I bought Laugenbrezels or pretzels. And the reason why this, re oh, you see there's a, someone's already tried it. Um, the reason why this review is coming out a little bit, quite a lot later than I got the box is because I had to get some pretzels. I wanted to make them myself, but to get Lauge, which is caustic to boil them in, I felt uneasy about it. Like you can get a little caustic for cleaning and I could technically boil them in. But that's why you get like this really pretty color. Otherwise you'd use, uh, a lot of people use baking soda, but baking soda apparently does not give the exact same result. You don't get that same really glossy, crazy brown look. So this is from Little, And because of Oktoberfest and the Oktoberfest season, the selection uh, or the pretzels in Little have been gone locally for like a, four weeks or so. It's crazy. Um, because they said they were just sold out, they, they couldn't get any because of the fest season. So everyone in Germany was getting pretzels for things and whatnot. So they just didn't get any. It's like Bake Off. It's not gonna be the best pretzel in the world. But if you're ever in Germany and you go to a beer garden, this is like one of the must to have with your beer along with a spread of different meats and uh, maybe some pickles. It's fantastic. But let's stop talking about awesome German things and drink some beer. So this is a, I even got, <laughs> so that was because of the thumbnail picture, sorry. This is rare that I do this in a video. <laughs> sorry guys, there is a chunk of Brezel that's floating around because I was trying to make it look a bit silly. But yeah, I mean, this looks like a Märzen. As far as I could gather, it's also quite well hopped. I think they talked about that in previous releases, uh, but yeah. It looks exactly to the point. It's slightly hazy, you know, which is okay. I mean, I don't mind slightly hazy lagers. You're going to get that with a lot of craft brewers. The head that poured out was quite nice as well. Kind of like tan beige-ish, but it's really died down quickly because I was taking a lot of photos and doing stupid shit. But let's check out the aroma on this Oktoberfest beer, Hoptoberfest beer. 
Hmm. I don't know. Can I smell the pretzel? I smell a lot of malt and I smell a great malt character. Lots of like doughy, bready, robust maltiness. And toffee, to hints of toffee too. So the classic fest beer would look something like be Madsen Pitaka, but in modern times with the big six and all, they are lighter and more something like a strong hillis. But they're nutty, biscuity, crackery, slight touches of caramel. There's actually a lot of, uh, lot of malt complexity in this one. Maybe a touch of peppery, spicy hops in the back, but it's all about malt. Chewy, fresh malt. I could see maybe a, a slight similarity to a Laugen Brezel, but I think that's more like just a breadiness, right? I'm not sure if it's actual pretzels. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers, and thanks to Beardom for the beer. Dead on, style-wise. That's really good. <laughs> I mean, I had the big six not too long ago. This is a craft interpretation. There's a lot more going on in this <laughs> than from the big breweries down in Germany. Um, well, only one of them was a mess in the Hakup Shoah, but just this compared to that. Like, this has so much more malt flavor. Very well balanced flavors, too. Um, very slick, very silky. I don't know if I taste the pretzels. I have an idea in my mind that, like, there's a breadiness that's similar to a pretzel. But that could just be the malt complexity and the malt in here. I think this is going to go down like milk. I'm sharing it with my girlfriend and um, this is so refreshing and tasty. Perfect like autumn type of drink. Yeah, the hoppiness that's there, it's not like really bitter, but there's some dryness and some hoppiness, which is nice. It helps dry out the beer so it's not like too malty, too sweet. It's got a great balance uh, in, in that sense. And it's like slightly peppery, maybe even slightly grassy. Also, one of the, th the things with this, like it's really full bodied actually. The body is super slick and really, really nice. I need to check out more sudden death, non-hazy stuff because this is high quality craft lager. So yeah, there's like toasty nuttiness, crackeriness, maybe a bit of Laugenbritzel, uh, otherwise like robust breadiness. Uh, slightly caramel nuances in there as well. Super crisp and clean, quite nicely carbonated. And then the floral nuances and whatnot. And it's really well layered and integrated. There's even maybe a hint of a woodiness from hops. I'm just trying to drink this in tiny gulps because it's gonna be gone in a minute. Let's have a bite of what this is supposed to be uh, paired with. I mean, I love pretzels, but this is definitely a supermarket pretzel. Really chewy. It's not as good as what you get in Germany at a bakery or even in a beer garden, I think. But for being what we can get in Denmark, it's all right. Um, if you have any tips about making them yourself, I'd love to hear it, but it's okay. I mean, it pretty much tastes like if you ever buy pretzels, small pretzels or pretzel sticks. It's like that, but in a more chewy, bready format. You get the same crushed sensation, just it's more of a bread than like a crunchy snack. But it's it's okay for what it is, it's from little, so. But the beer, I mean, that's a good pair. It actually makes the beer seem slightly more hoppy, interestingly. I'm getting more of a peppery hop thing. But uh, this is a good pairing. I mean, pretzels, I think pretzels are pretty good for any kind of classic German beer, really. So just a bit of mustard or something to dip it in. Maybe had a bit of Lieber, Lieberkäse or Lieberkäse or Leberwurst on the side. Some sausage, whatever, be great. Then it would be like beer garden style, but yeah. Damn good, uh, Märzen. Damn good, really nice. I really like the layering effect of it. It's uh, one of those darker beers that has a lot of complexity. Usually I've been like, not too into dark malty lagers and lower ABV dark beers, like brown ales, Münchner Dunkel, all that. It's completely changing, completely changing, uh, which is interesting. It's 
when I if, ten years ago, if I drank beers like this, I'd be like, yeah, I prefer like something lighter, or I prefer something more hoppy, I prefer, you know. But these days, I actually I'm really starting to appreciate brown beer. That was good. So yeah, I think a straight ninety. This is a damn tasty uh, Matson, and uh, yeah, really well layered flavors. So. Good stuff. Get yourself some while it still is around because the fest season is over. I think actually also, was it Sudden Death that actually did a uh, pumpkin ale? No one brews pumpkin ales in Europe. I'd love to revisit that style, but I think it was last year. I actually got a can at Ispia Bokus, and I forgot the can. <laughs> so, but that's how it is. They have a bottle shop too. But yeah, if you guys had this one, let me know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers in Lauten Brezel from Little. Boop. Oh, you can't even hear it. There's no microphone down there. Like, boop. <laughs> and see you guys in another beer review. Prost.